Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Ken, also known as The Pop Air. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my 2016 eyeshadow collection palette. No, oh, that's it again. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my 2016 eyeshadow palette collection video. Okay, so it's that time of the year and everyone's going to be doing like their favorites, their collections at the end of the year. Um, so I thought I would you know, hop in the bandwagon and talk about the eyeshadow palettes that I own, what I like about them, what I don't like about them. Okay, let's start off first with this palette, quad, it's a quad, yeah? This one is by MAC, this one was from one of their collections like years and years ago. I don't even know if this is still usable, like if it's off or not, but <laughs> this one has got Brulee, Caviar Dreams, Retrospect, um, Et Tu Bouquet? I don't know, it's French. I'm never been good at French. Um, the reason I picked this up was because it had brulee and at the time I think I was on a really really tight budget and I thought you know what if I'm going to get a MAC eyeshadow I might as well get it in a quad that way I've got other colours to try out and at the time I was absolutely in love with Pixie Woo so um, I still am um, and they used pretty much brulee every single video so it's a nice sorry that's a highlight just watch there it's a nice bone white colour on my complexion and then there's a retrospect, which is just a nice shimmery colour. Um, it's not very pigmented. I honestly think it's more like a highlighter, like something you use on the face kind of highlighter. It's not very pigmented at all. And then you've got a two bouquet, which is a nice shimmery um, pink colour as well. And I, I wasn't supposed to do a swatch video, but I, here we go, swatch video. Um, and then there's, this one's called retrospect. No, caviar dreams which is like this nice, I would say like a slate grey with a slight green undertone. Like these shadows are really nice. I would still use them, um, but because they're not very pigmented, I would use them like these three as more of like a mid lid color. Like if I were doing sort of like a halo kind of eyeshadow look. Um, I don't usually gravitate towards this palette just because I've got other palettes that are more affordable that are actually a lot more pigmented and just show up better in general. So um, not one of my favorites, but I'm still, you know, keeping it. Okay, next one is this palette or five piece from Rimmel London. This one is the Rimmel London HD Glam Eyes. Uh, this one is in Brixton Brown and I have used this in a couple of videos already. I'm not a, you know, like I'm not in love with it, but it's definitely a decent five piece. Um, so the colors that I absolutely love in this one are this purple shade. Like it looks purple plummy on the pan, but it doesn't in real life. It's almost got like a burnt orange tone which was quite deceiving when I first used it. Um, it's got a nice um, grey tone brown which is a nice I suppose depending on your skin tone you could use this as like an overall base shadow or a transition colour and then you've got a warm tone mid chocolate brown shade which is always handy to have and then you've got an even darker shade it's almost like a brownie black Pigmentation in this palette is okay. I mean, it's kind of like one of those things like you pay for, you get what you pay for, I should say. Um, but otherwise you can definitely get a really nice smoky eye, a really nice pop of color kind of look, especially with that color. Okay, next palette is from MAC as well. This one came out in the collection last year. I don't exactly remember which one, but I'll leave details and all the names of the palettes down in the description box down below if you guys are interested. So my absolute favorite is, let's see what that, what's that color? I think it's called Mood Maker, which is this nice frost color. It doesn't pick up really well with brushes, unfortunately, but this one does look gorgeous on the lids. I prefer to use my finger with this. It's just a nice, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a nice, cool, bronzy, gold, and brown brass. Not brass, but it's a nice color. I absolutely love it. And I just love the fact that you've got, um, again, a mid-tone brown and a darker brown. So you can definitely just use that as a transition color, that as a crease color, and then just choose any of these as your overall lid color. And again, I feel like this one is quite versatile. Like, you can be quite fair, you can be quite tanned. Um, I can't really say about like if you've got very dark skin, but I would think that these light shades would show up really well on your skin. Okay, next part that I'm going to talk about is from Chi Chi Cosmetics, which is a brand here in Australia. This one is called the Glamorous Naturals Eyeshadow Palette. And I absolutely loved using this back in 
I think pretty much the earlier part of this year I pretty much made almost every single look that I made um, using this eyeshadow palette. Still love this palette. I think it's one of the better eyeshadow palettes that you can get out in the drugstore. Um, if you can get it overseas I highly recommend getting this. Um, like Some of the shades are definitely hit and miss. Um, like Some of them are quite chalky, some of them aren't very pigmented but I think overall um, you get more pigmented and just nice shadows in general in these palettes. So if you guys haven't noticed already, pretty much all the shadows that I absolutely love from the palettes are pretty much the bronzy ones, the neutral, the browns. It's just because I'm not very adventurous, I don't really like playing with super bright colours on my eyes. Like I honestly do not wear them out. Like I'll odd like at the odd occasion I will wear a smoky blue colour, but it's still quite dark, so it's not like hello neon green neon blue type thing um so i definitely do applaud people that wear those um on a daily basis because i don't know i just can't handle the looks that people would probably give me like makeup tutorials fine i will definitely wear the colors okay next palette was gifted to me i think yeah it was this year my birthday um by kat and Haley from beauty news kate Schnitch, and just by the makeup so this is the eyes are the window shadow palette in soul so that's what it looks like again another pretty much everyday wearable neutral palette so my absolute favorite colors from this palette are this um this, this one actually has names this one called heart I love individual again as a nice like crease color um, to brighten up the lids I absolutely love um, let's see that would be kitten and vitality and to add depth for a nice smoky eye obviously that dark brown called being and then we also have peace and essence I really hope that I'm reading the labels right otherwise I'm just a complete retard um, but overall really good palette and I really appreciated this. this is the Kardashian Beauty Chloe Cardazzle palette. So I don't even know if Kardashian Beauty like eyeshadows are still being made, but anyway, this one kind of deceiving, kind of looks like it's got sequences, but it's just a sticker. Um, and those are the shadows. Now, when I first got them, I thought I was like, oh, it's quite cheap packaging, but you know, obviously I didn't complain because I won this in a prize and I'd be a total dick if I did complain. Um, but it's also got, um, a highlighter, a blush, and a shimmery blush to choose from. Personally, I don't really like these blushes on me. They're just a bit too light. They just don't show up. That highlighter, it's decent. Like, it's a nice, bright colour. Like, I haven't really used this that often just because it is a stark white colour and obviously I'm quite tan and something like that would just appear very ashy on me. Um, unless it's winter when I'm quite fair, then I can wear that colour. Uh, but back to the actual eyeshadows. So the actual eyeshadows, the ones that I absolutely love are this beige tone, obviously. This is going to be like my base colour. It kind of reminds me of Max Brule, actually, like the tone, but it's a little bit more beige. The other colour that I loved is this plummy colour that's in here. It's more of like a plummy pink colour. Very nice, very reflective. Um, and then this dark colour at the end, which is more like a chocolatey brown with flecks of shimmer. Again, very, very nice. And then it's definitely more of like a warm tone palette, I think. Um, obviously, it's got some greys, but it's still definitely more warm. And then that warm brown there is more of like a transition colour. Yeah, I mean, like, it's a good palette. Not one of my favourites, but it's definitely an eyeshadow palette that I could work with to create pretty much... A whole lot of looks. Okay next palette is a massive one. This one is by NYX. This is the NYX um, Beauty on the Go. Yeah on the Go palette. Um, so it's one of those massive ones that have a lot of colours and definitely some layers to it. So I still keep the sleeve on just because I'm a bit ghetto like that. Um, it's got a mirror and these are the shadows. It's a nice selection of eyeshadows. Like you still have some of the neutrals and you also have some colour to play around with if you guys want to be a little bit adventurous. Um, the pigmentation on these things are quite good. Um, some of them I feel like are a little bit ashy um, or a little bit chalky I should say and they probably don't show up very well. Um, but obviously if you have a good eyeshadow primer, any shadow really will work. Um, my absolute favourite ones are this, like, this one kind of reminds me of NARS Orgasm, like the blush. 
Um, it's just such a nice color, like a nice lid color, I think. Um, the only thing that I feel is missing in this palette is a dark, cool tone brown. Like whenever I try to just use this palette, I did, I think I did a makeup tutorial where, or makeup look, where I tried to just use this palette. I had to make that dark, dark color, which it's like a black, but it's more like a charcoal color and this warm brown to kind of like make a dark brown. I think that's the only thing missing in this thing, but otherwise it's a really good palette. You also have another layer. Um, so you've got um, bronzers, highlighters, blushes, lip glosses, lipsticks. Honestly, I haven't tried these ones because I'm never a big fan of those. But I've tried um, the bronzers and they're pr they're pretty good. Like I did try and use them as a contour, but they're unfortunately like even this one, which looks a little bit ashy. Um, I don't know, like for me, it's still a little bit too warm and looks a little bit chalky to be completely honest. But the bronzers are definitely amazing. Like I feel like one of them is pretty much like a matte bronzer from NYX as well. So I think if you guys are on a budget, you want to get a lot of things for a l like not spending a lot um, and you guys are still new to makeup, I think this one would be a good investment or it would be a really good gift in general because it's just amazing. I'm sorry about the noise. Okay, so we're now down to the last two eyeshadow palettes that I own. Um, this one is the Kylie Bronze Eyeshadow Palette. You guys pretty much know what this looks like. I have used this in a couple of tutorials already, a couple of videos, and obviously if you go on Instagram, it's pretty much all you see these days. Um, so my absolute favorite shades in this palette Ah, I think that one, like again, it's got one of those labels with the names and I'm, I feel like I'm a bit of a retard because I'm always like guessing, like I think that's what it is. Uh, so this one is Topaz, I believe. This one I absolutely love as my transition color. It's just a nice, I would say like a light, a light, um, not bronze, light cool tone brown. I absolutely love as a transition color and I use um, citrine usually on top of it. Citrine I'm not a big fan of. I feel like it's a little bit chalky on my skin tone. Like it's a nice bright orange, but it's just got that white undertone that just makes it very chalky on my skin tone. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, next shade that I thought I would be absolutely in love with is called Tiger Eye. Like it swatches beautifully when you use your finger um, and looks quite pigmented but when I use a brush and again I I should just do this but I tend not to use my fingers when I apply shadow on my lids unless I really have to but I probably should with this particular shade like when I use a brush it's just not pigmented it just doesn't look very dark and I don't know like if I use my fingers it looks nice but these days I prefer a nice deep smoky eye so I feel like I have to use one of the darker shadows like ones here at the bottom just underneath this just to make it deeper if that makes sense like I'm all about a deep smoky eye these days. But yeah I think this is an overall great palette one of my favorites actually it's gotten into my top not top 10 but my year end of favorites video definitely one of my favorites um will I get the burgundy or the holiday collection palettes I don't think so because I don't really wear those types of colors on the daily and I prefer to spend my money on palettes that I know I will actually wear and this palette is definitely one that I would wear pretty much all the time. Okay now my absolute favorite palette, you guys already see it already anyway, um, you guys already know it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Master Palette by Mario. I have spoken about this palette so many times on the channel, it's ridiculous and on my Instagram, <laughs> but uh, I absolutely love this. I am quite sad that this is a limited edition palette because I would want it to be a permanent palette because this this thing is amazing. Like I'd be devastated when time comes, I finally finish these shadows. They're just amazing. I feel like the color selection is just absolutely genius. I, I think like you can come up with so many smoky eyes, so many neutral eyes, so many just wearable looks with this shadow palette. Like that's the thing with a lot of eyeshadow palettes I feel these days. They come up with so many colors and they just don't seem to be wearable. Whereas this one I think is the definition of a wearable palette in my de in my opinion. Like you have got a nice warm tone orange, you've got a cool tone brown that and all of these colors are not chalky, they're not ashy on my skin tone, which is thank goodness. Um and you've got a few staple bright colors, you've got a staple bronze, you've got a dark color. I mean, 
And then you've also got an olive color. I don't see a lot of palettes, like neutral palettes have an olive color like this. And this, this, like, I, I'm just gonna say it now, I absolutely love all these shades. Like, I've swatched them, I've used them on my eyes, I absolutely love the formula. Um, which is why I said in a couple of videos before that, oh, that's the olive green one. Um, that's why I said in a couple of videos before that I probably would buy more Anastasia Beverly Hill palettes if they came out with more, um, neutral shades again. Like, obviously I don't want complete repeats of, like, let's say this, but, you know, if they're very nice and neutral, I would pretty much pick them up. I feel like this has started a new obsession for me, like... I'm not a big, like if you guys have been following my channel for quite some time, you guys know that I'm not a big eyeshadow fan, like eyeshadow palette fan, but I feel like buying this and this this year has started a new obsession for me. I feel like my bank account is going to suffer in 2017. Alright, so there you guys go. Those are the palettes that I own and let's be real, I was going to say I, I might not add, but let's be real, I'm going to be adding more palettes to my collection. Um, Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> okay, so just my poster of Mariah Carey, which usually sits up here. I put it here and it just fell, it just gave me a heart attack, oh my god. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Those are the palettes that I own. So there you guys go, that's the video. Don't forget to thumbs up the video if you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out these other videos if you guys haven't already. And tell me down in the comment box down below what are your favourite eyeshadows that you own, or eyeshadow palettes I should say, that you guys own. And I might dabble. Probably will. Anyway, I'm really tired. I should probably stop now. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!